Waino eruption, Kilauea could cause steam-driven explosions not seen in decades Hawaii's relentless volcano Kilauea has been spurring hellish lava, ash, and toxic gas for weeks and a geophysicist has now, has now warned about the possibility of dangerous steam-driven explosions, which last occurred at Kilauea in 1924 and 1790. Kilauea has devoured around 600 homes since its started eruption on May 3. USGS scientists have reported that the crater at the volcano's summit has nearly doubled since the hellish activity began. Dr. Jessica Johnson, a lecturer in geophysics who previously worked as a researcher at the Hawaiian Volcano Observatory, has warned there could be steam-driven explosions, which occur when magmatic gases and steam from groundwater are expelled. Dr. Johnson said, the redirection of magma at Kilauea from the summit crater to the continued fissure eruptions in Leilani Estates has caused the summit lava lake level to drop by nearly 300 meters in the last week. If the lava column drops to the level of groundwater, there is the possibility of water interacting with the magma to cause steam-driven phreatomagmatic explosions. This could present additional hazards such as ballistic projectiles and widespread ashfall. Steam-driven explosions last occurred at Kilauea in 1924 and 1790. The entry of lava into the ocean is usually a gentle process, and when steam is free to expand and move away there are no violent steam-driven explosions. However, Dr. Johnson noted when the magma level falls below the water table and the rock above it cools, small cracks open up through which water can flow into the conduits. The water can become trapped underground as rocks falling down the sides of the emptying crater plug the vent. The geophysicist explained that when heat from the magma turns the water into steam, the pressure builds up, and that's when you get a larger explosion. If these explosions were to occur at Kilauea, it would be the first time in 93 years. In 1924, the summit crater of Hale Maumau doubled in diameter to 1,000 meters and scientists counted more than 50 violent explosions during a period of two and a half weeks. Because of the threat of these steam-driven explosions, also known as phreatomagmatic eruptions, the U.S. National Park Service closed on Friday Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. The U.S. Federal Aviation Administration also issued flight restriction around the area. Kilauea's ongoing eruption is the most destructive in U.S. history since the 1980 Mount St. Helen blast, which killed more than 50 people.